King Charles has launched a new plan that has given Meghan Markle and Prince Harry a surprising label, the others. This unconventional move has sparked interest, and speculation about the changing dynamics of the royal family. Usually, when it comes to royal gifts, the choices are fairly limited and often involve physical gifts like horses, dogs, and even joke gifts. Titles, on the other hand, are usually given on happy occasions such as weddings or significant achievements in a royal service to the crown, the country, or other noble causes. However, the recent title given to Harry and Meghan by King Charles is far from a reason to rejoice. It seems to have no relation to their service to the crown, the nation, or any of the typical Cotswold cottage industries. This intriguing news comes from the Daily Mail's Ephraim Hardcastle column. While the name itself is made up, it is generally regarded as a well-informed and reliable source of royal news. According to the column, it has been about four months since King Charles became the king and took on the ceremonial duties, including the difficult task of not stumbling while holding a scepter. During this time, the king has been working hard on what Hardcastle calls a radical reset of his late mother's idea of the family firm. This reset goes beyond normal royal rules such as forbidding stealing from the palace stationery cupboard, a humorous reference to a more ordinary aspect of royal life. Instead, King Charles has decided to divide his family into four different groups, senior royals, working royals, non-working royals, and others. The inclusion of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in the others group has raised questions and prompted questions about what this means. It seems to suggest that the Sussexes may not have the benefits and status that usually come with senior or working members of the royal family. The term the others implies a sense of isolation, as if Meghan and Harry are no longer part of the inner circle of Buckingham Palace. It implies a separation from the traditional royal duties and obligations that come with their positions. While the exact reasons behind this division are unknown, it is clear that King Charles' vision for the future of the monarchy involves a more simplified and focused approach to royal roles. The monarchy is adapting to the changing times, and this move reflects a wish to redefine the roles and expectations of its members. The decision to put Meghan and Harry in the others' group has sparked curiosity about what awaits them. It raises questions about their participation in royal events, public appearances, and charitable projects. Will they continue to represent the monarchy on the global stage, or will their roles be further reduced? It is important to note that Meghan and Harry have pursued independent projects since stepping back from their roles as senior working royals. They have established their foundation, Archul, and embarked on various philanthropic endeavors. However, their royal status and connections remain important parts of their identity and public image. As King Charles continues to reshape the monarchy, the world watches with interest to see how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will handle this new phase in their royal journey. The title of the others may indicate a departure from the traditional royal mold, but it also opens up opportunities for the Sussexes to create their own path within the royal family's changing landscape. In the coming months and years, the world will undoubtedly witness the impact of King Charles' radical reset on the royal family and Meghan and Harry's role as the others will be closely scrutinized as they navigate this uncharted territory in the rich tapestry of royal history. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Updates YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. This way you will be notified when we drop a video. Stay safe.